Identify the slope and y-intercept. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. If an equation is in this form, it is very easy to determine the slope, rate of change, and the y-intercept, the point where the line touches the y-axis. So, the first equation, y equals 2x plus 4, is in slope-intercept form. So we're going to write m equals b equals. Slope is the number that's being multiplied by x. So here, the slope is 2. And I prefer students to write the answer as a fraction. Because remember, slope is a rise over run, y over x. And when it comes time to graphing, if you don't see that fraction part, I end up with students having a bunch of vertical lines because they're rising, but they're forgetting to run. Y-intercept is your constant. So here, the y-intercept is 4. For the next equation, y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. Slope, negative 1 half. Y-intercept, negative 3. Y equals 5 plus 3x. Well, don't get confused and think that the slope is 5 because it's the first number you see. The slope is the number that is being multiplied by the x. So here, the mx part and the b have been flipped. And that's okay because addition is commutative. So the slope is 3 over 1 and the y-intercept, 5. y equals x minus 4. Well, when you look at x, there's no number out in front. But you have to remember that when you don't see a number, there's an understood 1. So the slope is 1 over 1, y-intercept, negative 4. y equals negative 1 third x. Slope is negative 1 third. And the y-intercept, well, there's nothing out there. So that tells you that the y-intercept is 0. And for our last one, y equals 7. This one always confuses students. There is no mx term. So that tells you then that 7 is going to be your y-intercept. The mx term disappeared. And what makes something disappear is when it's being multiplied by 0. So this really means y equals 0x plus 7. So then the slope is 0.